Back in 2010, artist Onyx Heart released the poorly drawn Sanic meme. It was immediately popular and became one of the most beloved memes on the internet. But did you know this story was a lie? Sanic was actually born from a violent webcomic that spanned the 2010s which you may not know about. Created from humble beginnings, Sanic is originally just a run-of-the-mill Sonic adventure webcomic with the typical cast drawn by Onyx Heart and hosted on DeviantArt. It's considered generic, cliche, but it quickly sets itself apart at the end of the third issue when a photorealistic 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer sportsback is introduced to the cartoon world. Sonic and his friends are understandably confused and more so concerned when it engages its 148 horsepower 2 liter 4 cylinder engine to lay rubber in the direction of the animated cast. After a brief but harrowing chase, beloved characters such as Amy Rose and Tails are brutally mowed down under 253 pound feet of torque, but the worst victim is Sonic. Thankfully though, the Mitsubishi Lancer was rated by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration as four stars in protection. However, the car's rear seat side impact rating was only given three stars. And unfortunately, despite Sonic's reputation, he simply isn't fast enough here. He is mercilessly crunched by the car's rear seats. This came to be known as Sea Day. The C standing for car. In the very next issue, Sonic wakes up in a hospital riddled with scars and wrapped in bandages. He finds out Tails was killed at the scene, while Amy survives but refuses to see or speak to Sonic anymore. For weeks, Sonic begins his recovery with nary a visitor. The doctors inform him he will never go fast again. Depression sets in, made worse because he's stuck in the epilepsy ward due to the lack of beds. He's under 24-7 watch, not even able to use the bathroom without supervision. Nightly injections are administered to prevent blood clots in his spindly legs. Sonic exhibits signs of mild psychosis. It's a dark, depressing time, oddly mature for a Sonic story. The nurses finally unwrap the bandages, revealing Sonic's new flat and mangled form. This is considered the origin story, the birth of Sonic. Yes, we were aware of the webcomic back then, and the sizable audience it was generating, but, you know, you have to understand, it was considered by the team too graphic and, quite frankly, too lewd to acknowledge. We employed our legal team to issue a takedown notice, but it was going to take time, and every day the fan base grew. Oh, it was getting out of control, you know, we knew it. But there was not much we could do. For months, fans speculate about the identity of the Mitsubishi driver. The names thrown around are Knuckles, Eggman, Shadow, and even Dante from the Devil May Cry series. But it was around this time the first rumblings of a possible Sega lawsuit reached the artist's ears. Onyx Heart introduces a wide array of original characters to curb this, the hope being to rotate out Sega characters and slowly build out his own intellectual property. Some of the new characters become beloved staples, while others are quickly and very quietly discarded following intense fan backlash. In a story arc that lasts at least 10 issues, Sanic and his private investigator rat friend named Marcus track down the car, which has been hidden in a vault in the frozen wasteland of Ice Cap Zone. Unfortunately, Marcus freezes to death at the apex of their journey, but not before learning the name of Sanic's vehicular assailant. With his final breath, Marcus whispers the name. Cold Steel. This is the moment the webcomic went from a niche novelty to a full-blown online event. For those that don't know, Cold Steel the Hedgehog was first created in 2004 by 20-year-old Blood Skull Boy 84 and features the edgiest fan representation of a Sonic character ever created. It has since achieved exalted meme status. Sanic sets out across multiple zones on a crusade to find photorealistic Mitsubishi cars and get Cold Steel's attention by turning them into cubes. But this backfires when mid-crusade, Sanic opens an envelope addressed to him and he finds Amy crushed into a cube. The violence was escalating and it would take a dozen issues before Sanic finally traps Cold Steel with the rumor of a new Panic at the Disco album. However, as you might imagine, it's a ruse, it's a hoax, and Sanic captures the elusive hedgehog for a long-sought showdown. And you know, life imitates art, 
as at the same time, an online feud begins between Onyx Heart and Blood Skull Boy 84 as to the rights of the Cold Steel character. In the 10 years between the creation of Cold Steel and the origin of Sanic, Skullboy had become a bit of a success in the financial sector, leading teams of people across a variety of banks and investment firms. He employs his legal team to issue a number of threats to take down his Cold Steel creation from the Sanic series. But it doesn't deter Onyx Heart. In the years since his introduction, Cold Steel had become something of a cultural touchstone in the fan community, especially in the meme economy. Skullboy quickly finds that fan-created characters can't be copyrighted, and the case is dropped. It instead turns from a legal battle into a mudslinging contest across social media. Skullboy says, you smell, and in return, Onyx Heart says, you smell worse, becoming wildly out of control and inappropriate. But all this does is further heighten the already increasing popularity of the Sanic story. In the final confrontation with Cold Steel, Sanic opens portals and summons the assistance of all the Hedgehog variants from Google when you type your name and add the Hedgehog at the end. However, on the opposing side, Cold Steel is joined by every dark, emo, goth, and edgy fan hedgehog from the bleakest corners of the internet. Also, giant enemy cockroaches. It was an epic duel that, sadly, we cannot show for budgetary reasons. In the aftermath of the battle, Sanic clutches Cold Steel's beaten and bruised body and demands, Why? Why did you do this to me? And also you killed that Tails guy, and you turned Amy into a cube. Cold Steel looks up at Sanic with his trademark smirk and offers his famous line in return. This moment immortalizes Cold Steel as the ultimate villain next to Frieza, Thanos, and Mark Zuckerberg. Following the successful conclusion of the story arc, Onyx Heart boldly flouts the lucrative sales numbers for Sanic and Cold Steel merchandise. You got shirts, mugs, plushies, and even a line of Cold Steel scented candles and body wash range. Skullboy is furious, but can do nothing. With his revenge extracted, Sanic finds himself without a goal or any reason to live. Onyx Heart himself admits he only really had the idea for the Cold Steel revenge arc, but now the fandom is ravenous, feverish, demanding more content. The Sanic franchise is a cash cow that cannot be ignored. Out of desperation and with the threat of legal action from Sega seemingly simmered down, Ugandan Knuckles is introduced to the Sanic franchise. Despite an initial rivalry, they end up going on adventures together, becoming fast friends. But this wasn't enough for the fans. The era of woke had begun, and they demanded representation. In one single frame in a later issue, a close-up frame of Ugandan Knuckles displays his face and one of his pectorals during a heated discussion with Sanic. Fans quickly latched onto this frame, claiming the pectoral resembles the edge of a female chest, and so therefore Knuckles was multi-gender LGBT. The ship wars began, and great pressure was applied to Onyx Heart to take their relationship beyond platonic. In a stunning move, Sanic reveals deep feelings for Ugandan Knuckles, and their relationship turns graphic. The audience is split, as the series takes on the elements of a romantic comedy. Generally accepted as the peak of the series is the proposal and marriage between Sanic and Ugandan Knuckles. The wedding is officiated by Marcus the Rat, who is somehow backed by popular demand. Knuckles takes Sanic's hand and vows to always show him the way, with much clucking of approval from Knuckles' side of the family. But it is all downhill from here. Sega finally issues a cease and desist order with the threat of legal action unless the webcomic is taken down from all domains immediately. Onyx Heart buckles under the intense legal pressure, and so he decides to end the series on a bittersweet note. In the final issue, it's established in this universe that in order to get pregnant and bear a child, you must swallow your spouse. Sanic promptly eats Knuckles whole, causing a huge debate online about the age rating for the comic, as well as the nature of cannibalism in the evolutionary chain. In hindsight, it was considered a forward-thinking move that alienated an already fragmented reader base. The baby that Sanic gives birth to turns out to be a photorealistic fox creature. He calls it Tails, in honor of his deceased friend. Following this, no formal word is given about the series before every single issue is swiftly and abruptly pulled from all hosting web pages, including DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Webtoons. This is known as C-Day 2. 
This time the C, standing for cleanse, as the comic is cleansed from the internet. Much speculation ensues about what happened to it, not limited to Russian mob involvement, or Onyx Heart's conversion to Buddhism. Sanic lives on as a simple meme, while fans hold on to this absolutely 100% for sure true story as a special and nostalgic era of their lives.